fans. <laughs> I welcome you to Lion Game Masquerade TV. This is where it is happening. Watch our documentary. Watch our activities, our histories, cultural activities, traditions, CDG masquerade activities. Watch them on Lion Game Masquerade TV. <laughs> I love you all. EJ! Now come out of the name, and I'm going to be a good game. I'm going to be a good game. Come on, I'm going to be a good game. I'm going to be a good game. Uh, welcome you, welcome you, I welcome you all to this documentary. I welcome you once again to Lion Gate Masquerade TV. We are bringing you this documentary from Lion Gate Masquerade TV, and we are live at EAZ here, Isia Lambano. Um, Bara, precisely. We want to showcase to you a building that is today up to 200 years of age. This is a story building with a penthouse that was built 200 years ago by Osunwa Ibrim. Ebrima Chono Achono Opopara in the Eastern Eastern in the, in the Oost, uh, old Eastern region of uh, Nigeria, precisely now in Imo State. And Mbano is Alambano precisely. This house, as you can see people, it is still being inhabited by people of the Osunwa dynasty and the Okrebrimo and the Uma Chono. To bring you this in details, I want to inform you, if you don't know, starting from the beginning, this one-story building is about 200 years of age and it was built by the uh, 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 the oldest, one of the oldest uh, kings in Imo State by name Osunwa Ibrim. He was a regent. Those that were crowned by the European and the uh, uh, Ndi Obodo Yibomo Ndi Ocha, you can call them. He was one of the foremost rulers or the others in Imo State. Like uh, history will tell you, or uh, history told me, that he was the foremost that was carried on hammock from Ezi Hembanu to Okigwe on daily basis. And he built this house, a story building. You can see the roof. You can see the, stair, uh, the deck. The deck is purely of wood from Cyprus. F wood from Cyprus and uh, Egypt. You can see the deck. You can see the walls made of stone. You can see somebody who built this house about 200 years ago. You can agree with me that he was no other person than a Praman ruler in any place he might have found himself. Let me not take you to an unnecessary length of what I'm trying to present to you. This house is an ancient house and it still stands up to now I'm making this video. It is a house, a story building. You can see the paint house. It was built about 200 years ago by a regent and a primary ruler, Osunwa Ebrim, of the Omo Popara ancient kingdom 
inisia lambano imo states and of nigeria like i have gathered so far the wood used for the decking of this house we are imported from cyprus and lebanon and the architects uh, architectures or whoever you may call them the architectural design was done by an engineer from israel and even the laborers and the masons we are all foreigners and you can uh, see with me from what you can gather here from the video that this house is not a modern house it is more than 200 years although i'm saying 200 years ago this building is more than 200 years of age osun ebrim was the first son of ebrim and ebrim was the first son of achono and achono was the first son of opopara and opopara was the founding father of the present day ezihe autonomous community in Isiala Mbano Algae of Imo State. I'm not trying to tell you the history or genealogy of these people. I'm only trying to showcase to you or present to you the oldest building in Imo State. This building is about, it can be more than 200 years of age, but by me, it's about 200 years of age. It is where the old uh, Osunwa dynasty or Ibrim dynasty inhabited about uh, 200 years ago before they dispersed to their various uh, towns and villages as we see them today. This building, if you cross it today, it is more than uh, 20 billion naira. If you try to cost it, estimate it, and uh, equate it to the current uh, value of Naira as it is today, it is it was more than 20 billion Naira. You can see this person you are seeing here is a great, great grandson of uh, Osuma by name, Leonard uh, Lemowa James Osuma. If you follow me to the end of it, you will see all the great, 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 great children of Osunwa in the building. And others that uh, you will see there include the great, great grandsons of uh, Ibrimu. Ibrimu was the father of Osunwa, and Osunwa was the first son of Ibrim, uh, like as we see it today. Let me not go into history details. I will not go into history details, but what we know today is that Osun Ebrim is the first son of Ebrim, and Ebrim is the first son of Achono, who was the first son of Apopara, and so on. And Apopara was the founding father of AZ, Autonomous Community, as we see it today. You can see the building in question. Building, the architectural designer from Israel, the wood that was used for the decking from Cyprus and Lebanon. Every other laborer or mason that was employed here, they were all Europeans. This building has uh, lasted for centuries, up to two centuries, you can agree with me. Look at the roof. Look at the, uh, not even the roof, the decking, made of wood from Cyprus and Lebanon. It has lasted for two centuries, and it, it still stands. As I take you to the parlor or whatever, you will see that people still inhabit it. People still inhabit it. This house has lasted for two centuries and still looks fresh. You can see the people, the family of uh, Brimo, 
a Brima channel. They still gather here for activities and whatever uh, event they have. You can see them. Uh, this is uh, Aiko Suma. Aiko Suma, the owner of this. You can see this is Manuel Akabusim. Akabusi is a brother to Suma. You can see other people. Uh, this is Edwin Ekwaba, the chairman of the representative head of a uh, Ebrimo family, who is headed by the Osunwa dynasty. You can also see Leonard uh, Lemowa James Osunwa, the youngest man with uh, gray head, uh, also from the Osunwa dynasty. You will also see other people when I reveal them. They are all children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren of Osunwa, Ebrimo, Ebrimo Achono, Achono Popara, or Popara, the founding father of the today Ezihe Autonomous Community. I welcome you once again to the oldest house in Imo State. This house has lasted for up to uh, about 200 years and nothing has happened to it. The decking made of wood from uh, Cyprus and Lebanon and Israel. The wood, the kind of wood Queen Sheba used to roof or deck is, uh, her house. You can see King David and Solomon, they use this kind of food for the decking of their house. And you know, before somebody could have used this wood that has lasted for more than 200 years, he must have had contact with uh, Israel, Lebanon, Cyprus, on all you have, or could uh, name. Osue Brim was a great legend, was a regent, was a primary ruler, was a head. The only person in history had told her that was carried on hammock from Mbano to Kigwe and back on daily routine. We are grateful to have had a grand and great-grandfather and a, an uncle who had this firm and who controlled such a, a magnanimous power and wealth. We are grateful to Ndezi who allow us or uh, who approved this uh, documentary. We are also grateful to Oebrimo Village, who approved or gave their uh, consent or uh, whatever to this uh, documentary. We are most grateful to the members of uh, Osuma Dynasty, who allow us to take this video and pictures in commemoration of their great, 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 great grandfather who built, built, built on wealth, who established a dynasty that nobody will uh, uh, trample upon. We are grateful to Ndimu State and uh, every other person of you and he or he or she or them or whoever who are watching this video. We want you to go on and on and watch to the end. Click and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, Lion Get Masquerade TV, as we are poised to bring you more updates on uh, more and uh, many architectural and uh, historical edifices in Imo State and beyond Imo State. And Ali uh, Boni We are grateful to you all. Thank you once again. Thank you once again. This video or documentary came from you all the way from Imo State and Ezihe, from the Lion Gate Masquerade TV, uh, championed by his able person, Uncle Waya, um, McDonald Cage. He is the leader and the director of uh, Lion Gate Masquerade TV. We are poised to bring to you the happenings and the correct history of our place and uh, 
time. Thank you once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to watch and subscribe to our channel, The Lion Game Masquerade TV. We are poised to bring in you the correct of the undiluted uh, updates on the happenings. Call it whatever, historical, cultural, customarily, politically, whatever of this, we are poised to bring in you our of this. Uh, this is to show you what is in stock for you in Ezi, the oldest building in Imo State. The palace of the late Eze Osuma Ibrim Achono Obobara. And Obobara was the foremost and the land breaker of today Ezi autonomous community. Thank you once again. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you for everything good that you are doing and we are doing in response to what you are doing and what you are doing to us and for us. We are grateful to you. My fans and my subscribers and my yet-to-be subscribers, I hear you all. Take a Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hear you all. Chop knuckle kiss.
Ah, yeah.
Okay, so okay, so
Ah, ya. Yeah.